Uh, welcome to the Brat. We got Eric Kudla with us. He is the the National Youth Hare and Hound Director. If I got that right. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, you you good. You do a little bit of everything, really. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I do a lot. So you do a lot of promoting. Uh, you started this 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 thing this year with the uh, with the youth of the Heron Hounds uh, the series. Something that would be, you know, great for when we were out riding, you know, when we were younger. Um, how how did it go about? How did you start this? Like, what what made you think that we needed on the West Coast? Well, I actually uh, used to race USDR, and they have a kids race series. Um, pretty much, I model it pretty much just after that. So uh, Dave Earl from USDR actually had the idea first, and uh, just he loved seeing kids races and. I used to go out there and watch the kids' races and, and uh, film them and, and, you know, give them all high fives because I was the number one rider um, in the open class at that time. So it was, they thought it was real cool. And then I ended up working with USDR and helping it the last two years. So I went over that to the NHHA and to the AMA and to Chris and Patty Blaze and their whole group and Chuck Weir, mm -hmm. who was really supportive of it, and uh, said, you know, we need to do this for next year. I'll head it up, make it happen. You know, a lot of the clubs – didn't want to do it because they didn't have the manpower. So I said, you know what, I'll just do it for you. You won't have to do anything. And, you know, just basically put us on your, um, put us on your permit and, uh, schedule the ambulance and we'll take care of everything else. We definitely needed this for the West coast. I mean, we, it, we always had something for the parents, you know, for the big guys to ride. But, you know, when, when you go to races, you get to family, you know, atmosphere. It's great to have kids, you know, being able to ride the day before and, and get the whole family involved. And then it helps our, our, you know, our sport out, you know, our passion, what we like to do. Exactly. And that was really the most fun race to watch was the kids race at USDR. They, you know, a lot of the races that they come in side by side to win. I mean, it was, these kids were serious about racing. You yeah. know, the kids races in district, it was just everybody going around in a little circle and, you know, a little four or five year old, but no one else, it wasn't a race race. It was just the kids ride. Yeah. And so to add the element of actual competition and actual pit row and all that stuff, it these kids really race and really get into it. It's awesome. So with that being, how did round one go? Like, how did how was the experience for the kids and like overall, like how did everything go? Um, it went really, really well. Um, the turnout was double what a normal district kids race was. It was about thirty five. Um, but it was about, it was less than USDR normally has, but it's a really good start. And, uh, the kids all loved it. They had a blast. The parents came out and they were astonished at what they actually saw. They were, you know, a lot of them came up and said, there's an actual pit row here. You guys are actually racing. I mean, we had a banner drop. We had Nick Burson and Jake Augebright holding the banner. Jason Parsons helped with the banner. We had Jimmy Lewis being the hair for them. We had, um, you know, the whole Blaze racing team was out there helping at all the checks. That's so, you great. know, the kids were stoked. The kids had a great time. So it, it, it seemed like the parents were, and the kids and everybody was surprised, like, wow, they're actually putting in a, a large amount of effort into, you know, trying to make yeah. this happen. So I think that, you know, word to mouth, it'll probably progress for the next couple of rounds then. Exactly. I mean, there was a lot of kids that were there wishing they had raced because they didn't enter. They were either scared or like, oh, that's lame. I don't want to do that. And they were all standing on the sidelines going, man, I wish I was racing. This is so awesome. Because, yeah. like I said, normally it's just a little circle, but we laid out a two-and-a-half-mile course for the Peewees and a five-mile course for the Supermans. Wow. So they had a they had a real race for them instead of you know just a little dirt circle. Didn't it rain like the like Friday or Saturday? or I think it was Friday, and then it was like pretty good dirt out there for them? I got out there Thursday morning, and it rained – all the way driving out there until about one, and then it started Thursday night and rained all the way till Saturday morning. Man. So it was perfect. It was the most perfect conditions that you could ever hope for for a desert race. Right on. I uh, I applaud you, you know, and everybody, and and I'm gonna try keeping up with you and letting people know, you know, how much work you guys are putting into it, and and uh, hopefully I can get some kids on here and and. Uh, 
interview a couple of kids, and I mean, I'm sure they'll be all excited. So, oh yeah, they had a blast. Nice. So, and I know that they're going to be making a video. Um, Tyson Productions is making a video for the whole thing, so pretty soon here we'll have something to post. Oh, great! That'd be even better. That'd be good. All right. I know I... Mark's got a bunch of pictures too. So. Oh, great, great. All right, Eric. I appreciate your time. Alrighty. All right, bud. See you later. All right. Thank you. Thank you.